Well, this is just going to be a quick video. I wanted to get some more light dependent resistors and I went this route. A lot of that though was because I make uh, videos. So I may or may not have bought this kit otherwise, but I got this kit because you have uh, part numbers on here for one thing. So even with light dependent resistors, there's a, a number of different uh, variations. So the letters don't really matter. You may see letters there, uh, different letters there, but the number is what is important. So you got 55 and then that's 06. Down here, 55, 49. So for a given amount of light, we're gonna look at this amount of light here. This light dependent resistor will have less resistance than that one. That is the uh, general rule. The higher number, the more uh, resistance when it comes to all these. So all these other ones are a middle ground amount of resistance for a given light. And now I pulled a few of them out so we could get a visual. This other stuff is just to help keep it in focus. But in any case, there's the 5506, 5528, and the 5549. As you can tell, they have different colors. These colors are harder to tell, but you can see that there's a lot more swiggles on the 5506 than the 5528. So the number of swiggles is different too. Now, the uh, schematic symbol for a resistor is jagged lines. And that's basically what you got right there. Also, for the light dependent resistor, there's a circle around it, as you can see there. And since it responds to light coming into it, there's arrows pointing towards it on the schematic symbol. So it looks quite a bit like its schematic symbol. So now I got them under, should be about the same amount of light there. We got a light bar going across here and it's at its lowest setting actually right now. And we can measure the resistance with the uh, multimeter. So it helps that it's an auto range meter. I don't have to change the dial anymore. So we got 1000 ohms for the 5506, which we expected the uh, lowest. And I just got these jumpers here so I don't disturb the uh, resistor while I'm measuring it, light pendant resistor. So there we go. We got uh, three times, three and a half times as much resistance right there for the 5528. And I believe this will be at least 10 times higher right there for the 55. 49 as you can see there so that's 30,000 because on the top there it said kilo ohms instead of ohms right there so all of them were in kilo ohms and uh, there you can see 30,000 so that is at the lowest setting for this lamp I'll make it brighter and the camera may adjust it so you may not be able to tell but it's a lot brighter right there and should have gone down significantly there we go looks like about halfway right there and so they're all gonna respond to the light level that's uh, close to half, a little less than half, so is that one up there. And then like 15,000 approximately, I expect, nope, about uh, seven. So it went down there. And uh, so it adjusts with light level, and uh, we will turn the lamp off. I will go to the uh, top one, even though you can't see it, but you can see the number there. So that's 36 uh, kilo ohms because of how dark it is. That's how much it changes in the dark. The uh, resistance go way up in the dark. So 90,000, again, about three times as much. That's in the range of what it was with the, the light. So it, uh, I'm not hitting the uh, jumpers there. And the display went dark. There we go. Let's get that. So that's millions of ohms, 2.5 mega ohms on the top right. You may be able to see uh, mega ohms. So, any case, didn't mean for this to be as much of a light demonstration as this, but hopefully you still enjoyed. So, that's it for this video. Since I took them out of the uh, carton now, I'm not going to put them back because I uh, used them a bit. I may have did a little damage or something somehow, and uh, so I keep my new components separate from the other one. So, I'm going to shuffle it to the side here where I'm storing a lot of components or put it in a baggie uh, elsewhere to let them know they're used. As I said before, you can tell uh, which one they are by the uh, color and the number of swiggles on there. So there's no other identification though that I can uh, tell just that visual. But for the most part, like I just showed you, it depends on how much light is on it for the most part for its actual resistance. It just varies a little bit in between them. And uh, so thought I would demonstrate that. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.